Planet Dolan. What huge mammal is totally incapable of jumping? What's something weird about a crocodile that you've never noticed? Here are 15 of the dumbest facts that you absolutely need to know right now. Number 15. Back in ancient Egypt, cats were so revered by the people that killing one meant you were immediately put to death and people would save their cats from a burning building before their own children. Now here's the crazy part, if your cat died in the household, every member of the family would shave off their eyebrows as a sign of grief for their dead pet and only grow them back when they'd gotten over it. It's a shame this practice ended long ago. When my cat dies, I might shave my beard in respect. Number 14. It's an old stereotype that ostriches are remarkably dumb. Sure, they might not actually stick their head in the sand to avoid danger, but they will run in pointless circles to evade predators. This is because of the insane revelation that an ostrich's brain is smaller than one of its eyeballs. It's just an evolutionary quirk, likely because having bigger eyes was more important than being able to think and strategize. Unfortunately, that made him a bit of a dum-dum. Number 13. Unless you're a terrible insomniac like me, on average it should only take you 10 to 20 minutes to fall asleep as soon as you jump in bed. However, the actual average is that it only takes 7 minutes for most people to fall asleep. Any more or less than that and it just shows you're sleeping too much or you're a broken human being. You know, I wrote this script trembling with jealousy by the way. 7 minutes. Hate you guys. Number 12. It's a handy trick to pretend that you're dead so that predators will leave you alone. So that's why we refer to playing dead as playing possums, since these little marsupials do just that. Not willingly though. It's not as clever as it sounds. In reality, possums just see some scary shit and go into immediate shock, passing out with fear, going completely limp. This can last between 30 minutes to 4 whole hours, even starting to develop rigor mortis in that time. For us, it's called going to sleep. Yeah. I'm still salty, by the way. Number 11. You know those times you're dragging cows up some stairs and it's happy as can be waddling up each step? Did you know that a cow, when faced with climbing downstairs, will simply not go down? If you have a close look at their ankle and knee joints, they're not built for that type of travel. They need a solid level field or they might collapse spectacularly like they're wearing high heels on a runway. I really hope one of our artists draws that for this video. Now while it is possible to train a cow to go downstairs, they ain't gonna like it. Trust me. I've tried it. Number 10. Life expectancy has grown over the last few years to say the least. Not that long ago, reaching 60 years of age was a huge feat. But now the average settles around 80 depending on your region. For some lucky cunt though, one person in two billion will live to the ripe old age of 116. I know, two billion in one is a bit of a dice roll, but it's still doable. Comment below, and the one I pinned to the top will officially have won the life sweepstakes. You have a danger doll in promise. Number nine. Scare most mammals, first thing they'll do is jump or scamper away very quickly. Elephants though? Scientists can't actually explain why, unlike almost all other mammals, they simply cannot jump. True, they have enormous weight to carry, their leg muscles are weaker because of it, but then how do they get over small impasses, you know, rocks and the like? It's simple, they just walk. They'll walk for miles around a tiny obstacle rather than just take a tiny leap forward. Look, no one wants to address the elephant in the room, it's because they're fat, okay? It's a terrible joke. Shoot me in the face. Please end me. Number eight. Each year there are millions of homes that catch fire in the US. Many times more than that if you count everywhere else in the world. But did you know, if you squish the number down, it would equate to a house fire happening every 45 seconds in the US alone. Thankfully, house fires have gone way down in number since the 70s. Back then it was almost double. But with safety precautions over the years, we've been reducing that number nicely. Number 7. If you check out most modern dice, you'll notice the 1 is opposite the 6, the 2 is opposite 5, 
3 opposite 4. Now what do all these things have in common? Well, each of those pairs that I just described, they add up to exactly the same number, no matter which combination you go with. So each number on the opposite side of the dice will always add up to 7. Why this? It's up for some debate. Some believe it's to equal out the weight of the axis of the dice. Others feel it's just the only combination that leads to a unique number upon roll. But it's likely because dice creators have OCD and it needs to be perfect. I understand. I would do the same thing. Number six. Did you know that the membrane attached to the inside of a crocodile's mouth means that they're incapable, completely incapable, of sticking their tongue out? Unlike dogs who pant to sweat, crocs can sift air and water through their teeth and use the salt gland on their tongue when preparing to attack their prey. Likewise, the tongue doesn't actually do anything to help them eat. They just bite and swallow. Number five. This one might be hard to believe, but apparently it's not manly to blink with your eyelids. Women blink twice as much as men. Scientifically, this is backed up by women who take birth control pills. They blink over 30% more than women who don't. Not to mention the extra estrogen women produce, which stimulates lubricants like that found in the eye. Now you know why batting eyelashes is so sexy. <laughs> All that moisture. <laughs> Number four. In the early 1980s, Nintendo was not doing so good. All they had on the horizon was Donkey Kong for the arcade where you play the character Jumpman who would soon become Mario. But were you aware that Mario was named after Nintendo's landlord, Mario Sagali? The story goes that he swung by their office to yell at them about rent when the team decided to name their character Mario after him for whatever reason. It stuck. Clearly. Number three. How many cows would you expect to have to slaughter to make a year of footballs for the NFL? 50? 100? Try 3,000. Just for a single Super Bowl, you'd have to rip the flesh off 22 cows just to have enough balls handy for the day. It's made the sport come under a lot of fire, not surprising. You know how many cows you have to kill to play video games? None. Well, not unless you're having beef for dinner, you monster. Number two. So you can't afford light bulbs. We've all been there. Your goldfish haven't seen the sun their entire lives. Curiously, they'll actually turn white from being in the dark for so long. If you take light away from a fish, it will stop producing pigment. They'll have no light to reflect and so therefore will no longer generate color. However, it may not turn completely white, but it'll certainly turn a few shades lighter. But don't do that. It's just cruel. It's fascinating, but it's cruel. Number one. Snails can live up to 15 years, which is a fair amount of time for a little creature. Amazingly, it can sleep for periods up to three years at a time if the weather ain't doing so good. It's a form of hibernation where they slime up the entrance to their shell, curl up and catch some Z's for huge periods of time, especially during cold seasons. Again, salt. Look at me. I'm a snail, it takes five minutes to sleep and I can do it for years. I'd go out right now and crush a snail, but that's cruel. I can leave them in a dark room and watch them turn white though. They deserve it. That is it for this countdown, have a go-